My name is Gregory Hamilton, and this is the Highway to Heaven in 88 Steps. So today's day 15, fantastic, the third week. And what are we doing? On a repetitive daily basis, we're asking ourselves, what is it that I want to do to bring me happiness with my God-given talent that God wants me to use so that I may speak to God on this highway to heaven, right? So it's the third week. Let's talk about threes. We're doing one brick, one day to keep ourselves focused. We've got many examples of how we take the physical one and then make it into a mental one to combine three, okay? So, we've got the employee, the employer, the master planner, God, right? All three. So it's real important that we understand what our focus is and what we're doing and why we're doing this, correct? Once again, that focus of slowing ourselves down so that we realize that we are talking to ourselves so that we don't accidentally just start emotionally going off on tangents, so that we don't keep chasing carrots, so that we don't... <laughs> what happens if we have a goal and we set the goal, we achieve the goal, but it was so long ago we forgot that we had got it? And, and we just constantly just keep moving around, right? So we got to keep ourselves focused. So, third week, we're keeping it all together. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so we're going to keep praying. This can be done everywhere, right? I mean, while we're in line, I mean, that's the whole intentions in this is to keep reminding ourselves that, that, that we're trying to live a life of purpose. Okay, so everything's going to happen in its own time, isn't that right? I mean, we can force it and try to make it happen real quick, or we can let it happen, okay? So let's talk about that force and letting it happen. This is our third week, and where I'm at right now, we've got our first snowstorm, so the weather's completely changed. So I can go out there and force my highway like I did yesterday, and just start laying the bricks where I was. But the problem is now there's a bunch of snow there, right? So obviously I'd have to at least work to get the snow off and then see what's going on. So maybe this would be a good time to do something different. Instead of forcing what I'm doing, you let the nature take its course and have it, you work with it. How's that? How you know what what was that? How's that possible? Well, some days are good, some days are bad. Every single one of us, it's the same thing. There's not one person that's bad. There's not one person that's good. Each and every single one of us have a high quality in, of each. What you you really think you're that much of a good person? And everybody else that you see is a bad person. And all the bad things that you've done, you can just forgive yourself and ignore. But everybody else has to stay with their bad choices and decisions. See, we don't care about those type of things. We're trying to stay ourselves focused so that we're not judgmental. This is the ping pong of all the different voices that will go on in your head when these things start happening. You go right back into one, two, three. And it just calms everything down, right? Now all of a sudden we're back on the highway and we're moving forward. So with good days and bad days, Good and bad within ourselves, good thoughts and bad thoughts, good actions and bad actions. So sometimes our good intentions, we go out there and we try to 
force the highway and move all that snow out of the way and work real hard and find out that the ground was too hard and muddy so that when it thawed the brick didn't level right and all the kind of problems that will happen in the future that we don't even foresee yet. So a good quality of being able to work really hard at the wrong time doesn't do the highway any good whatsoever. We're forcing something. So what are we going to do now? Well, sometimes some of those bad qualities of procrastination can be used as a good thing at the right time. Do you need a rest? Do you need to be thinking about maybe reading a book on how to build the highway, but you just couldn't figure out how to fit in the time to do it? You know, there's a lot of other little things that we can keep doing that are working on ourselves and working on the highway where we aren't able to do exactly what we want to do. So sometimes the bad qualities that we have, if you look at everything and you keep thinking about your highway and you keep yourself focused, you realize that you know you're not going to run away, get away from yourself. You don't get a day off. Your employee is just as good as the employer. <laughs> right. So today, one of the weakest employees that you have, it's their day to shine because it is a team. One, two, three. One, two, three. Takes it. Teamwork. Which then goes back to, let's talk about that teamwork. When you're doing something like this and you're really keeping yourself focused, you're going to have a lot of hindrances like the weather that come out and try to keep you from keeping you on your path, on your highway. And some of those physical things that will be, come up into the happen, who, what would be those things? Would it be strangers or things that you've never seen before? Or would it be things that you recognize and see on a daily basis and people you know and deal with daily? Okay, there's going to be all kinds of reasons why we can go into that and those type of things. And it's irrelevant for what we're trying to do because we're just trying to stay focused on ourselves. Why those things happen and why it's those particular people that are doing it. Once again, that will keep you in this rat race. Once you keep yourself focused and stay on your highway and keep building your highway and you've got yourself a strong highway, those same people that are keeping you from building the highway will come up and ask you, how do you build your highway? At least they're watching you so that they can do it later. Just like you were watching somebody I was watching somebody and we just keep passing this on, right? This isn't a highway for my highway, for my highway to heaven, right? Highways for many, 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 many. And that's why people build it for others. So one, two, three, we start our third week, day 15. Great job. I pray for you and I pray for America.